Hey guys, what? No. Are you ready to go? Hey guys, my... I thought you were ready to go. I thought you were like... You got surprised that I was starting out. Alright. What's up guys? We're back. Uh, welcome back to the clubhouse. I am one of your hosts, Jason Grayson. And I'm, uh, I'm going to go with Anthony this time. I'm going to go with Anthony this time. I like when they don't know my name. I feel mysterious. It's Joe, by the way. <laughs> but, uh, so, welcome back, guys. Uh, here, we review TV shows. Uh, we give you guys cool shit. Um, yeah, so we're on the fourth episode of Gotham for this review. And uh, what did you think so far? First of all, I just want to point out, I can't believe it's four episodes in already. It's flying, eh? It feels like just like a couple weeks ago. Was that, like, the, the episode the premiere, one. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. not, but um, th it this is. episode was pretty good. It was pretty good. Pretty good. Like, pretty I wouldn't good. say it was a dud. It wasn't, no. I, I wasn't bored. Like, I was interested. There was some... There were, there were some parts I was like, what am I watching? I think I, I, I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm going to talk about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, we'll about, get into that. But yeah, all in all, it was okay. Yeah, it was, it was, it was okay. It was yeah. honestly okay. Okay. Yeah, well, you know. So uh, let's start off uh, what we saw first part of the episode. What did we see? Was the uh, continuation of the cliffhanger from the last episode. We finally saw Cobblepot, you know, uh, coming to see Gordon. So that's pretty cool. Hello, old friend. He's he's charming. I love him. You see when he was he was a bit all flirty with Barbara. Yeah, yeah. And he's like he has secrets. He's like men. <laughs> and he's like, oh, you know it. Yeah. I love he's it. Great. He's, he's great. He's great. He's great. Great character. He's my favorite. He's my yeah, favorite. Yeah, great character, man. I think he's. I think by a long shot, he's he's everyone's favorite character. Nah. Yeah, he is. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm speaking. Oh, personally, personally, personally you're not a long gym. shot. You're still going gym? No, no, no. Like Penguin's still my favorite, but not by a long. I wouldn't say a long shot. I'd say by a long shot. Really, for you, yeah. Jim's starting to get to the point where he's like, he's just. I love Jim, man. He's the same. I, I I like him. He's strong. I love him. He's not like he's very not. He's not compelling. Like I'm not like. There's nothing he's like. Doing nothing really to him. Like, yeah, you're. He's right. just like constantly. Nothing extraordinary about him. Doing nothing. Nothing you're right. really. Nothing. Just a generic good cop. Just a cop. But that's what you love about Jim, though. No, I know, I know, and I know, I know. Penguin doing an awesome job, and honestly, we see the Riddler again t today, and they are they, almost every episode. He's just been in there for like a couple seconds. Just one scene. But I'm just like, I want to see. And he's awesome. More. Like this guy is awesome looks, too. They he looks did, great. I think they nailed Penguin and Riddler so far. Like it, it's great. Vill comic book villains. I think that's that's it, man. Comic book villains. They really nailed because they had something to go off of. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially in Batman. Especially in Batman, because the Batman films are amazing. Yeah, and not I mean, all of them are like superhuman, like shooting shit out of their mouths. Penguins are like a crime lord. Like yeah, yeah, most of them are just geniuses, evil geniuses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's and that's what's really cool. Uh, yeah. So uh, we see we start off with this episode. Uh, they confront each other. They talk to each other. You know, Kalpot talks about this war he keeps talking about that might happen. We finally get a glimpse of what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. So pretty much what he's talking about is the Falcone family and the Maroni family. Right. Their battle for Arkham. Arkham, and it's not it's not explained why they're battling for Arkham, but we think it's like it's like it's like obviously Arkham would be the major like what was well they they I think they do explain it. I just kind of do I don't know. Like for, for me, I missed it then. Like why they're fighting for uh, well, Arkham. Well, Maroni says land is the new thing. Like he wants the land. But for what? Because money is in land. That's what he says. I guess. I thought it was a crime market. Like, they control, I, I, that's what I thought they too. They control, control the it. crime market. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, but Falcone wants to get rid of the asylum when he when his plan. Cause, so the, the two yeah, plans, the two opposing plans were that Falcone mm -hmm. wanted the Wayne's plan, which was like, he he meddled with it, I'm pretty sure. Remember Bruce was talking about that. But yeah, he said they, they wanted, uh, what was it, mega... Not like a mega hospital. Like a mental facility. Mental to, facility. To treat yeah, that's what it patients. was. Yeah. And uh, like low income houses for the less like for less fortunate. For like the working class, lower the Which working is class. like what uh, Bruce and Martha do for the orphanage, remember? Yeah. And, and like the comic book. Yeah, 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 they do that for the they do that. So that's what the that's what Falcone wanted to use. Yeah. But it was gonna be pretty much under his name. He was gonna own it. Yeah. Because he had the 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 mayor, right? Right. But Maroney wanted to make it a waste facility, right? The mm -hmm. surrounding. Uh, place a waste facility and then Arkham would stay, correct? Yeah, yeah so that's gonna happen. So pretty much what we like, uh, maybe we'll get into what happens at the end, but we pretty much see that someone is hiring a hitman to kill council members. Now, I thought there was gonna be another like vigilante type thing, I'm like, oh my god, they're doing this again. So, right. it, it, either the guy's double crossing, like that's what they think, or he's literally just working, just get, getting paid but by, by who though, the penguin, maybe that the guy, the guy with the, the sword, the little, yeah. This guy had a little like a 
like, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what the fuck to call it. He's, I don't know. It's like a switchblade, but like. But like a, like a high powered one. Like a staff. I thought it was a flute. When he first brought it out, it's like it has a lot of little buttons. Yeah, what are those he, about? I don't know. And he and he puts and he no, puts no, I it together. It was, I thought it was something that injects poison. Like if you grab it and it spikes, like it just you know. Oh, that'd be like pretty a blowfish cool. That'd be pretty. Cool. That'd be sick. You know what I mean? That'd be awesome. Yeah. No, but we see him. The, the weapons are just when he tells the guy to look into like yeah, the like hole, that. and then it presses it. You saw it coming. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. First of all, and you're then, a moron for doing that. Yeah, a lot of characters. You're a cop. Them. No, he no, was, that guy wasn't a cop. He wasn't a cop. I thought he was a cop. No, he, he cause uh, no, he was the uh, councilman's aide. Oh, I thought he was a councilman's like, like bodyguard, bodyguard cop kind of thing. No, he was like his aide. Oh, never mind. So we see another guy that's killing councilman, and and there are so many like council members <laughs> and like people that are just dying. Like I know now, I know who they're always going to go after now. Just council members and stuff like that, because you know they're all dirty, so they're not going to run out of villains. Like yeah. lower end villains, I'm yeah. saying. So this guy's going after all these council members. We don't know who's hiring them, or his um, name. Or his name. At first it was Richard Gladwell, but apparently that's not Ri- his real name. Richard Gladwell died five years ago. Oh, can we can we say this? Is it cool if I tell? Spoiler. Yeah, spoilers. You gotta say that, man. Anyways, Richard Gladwell died five years ago. No, not anyways, man. Come on. Anyway. No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> for, for fuck's sake. So he died five years ago. No one found his body because somebody's been paying his like taxes and like they all just think it was a guy. It was a guy. He's keeping low key and like. He's a hitman. Yeah, I know, but we don't know his name. I don't know. His name. So, I had no idea. Like I tried to look up Richard Gladwell because we thought he was like a character and he's just nobody. He has Twitter, uh, yeah, he has I, Twitter though. Oh, that's probably a real guy, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm just. Saying. What if you hit him up like, yo, sweet cameo and go? <laughs> <laughs> Badass, man. <laughs> just some old guy like what? <laughs> <laughs> The but, fuck is Twitter? <laughs> Why is he on <laughs> They're making fun of some old guy on Twitter. He's like, no, this is a this is a comedy account. Sorry, man, it's a spoof. But anyway. So, um, they have that. Uh, that's going on. Uh, we see that he's getting paid by pretty much both families. All right. We think. It was pretty much, no, they pretty much said it. The, the cops said it. We don't know for sure. I guess. It's not for sure. Like, no, man. They, they think that he's working for both, but like, when do you ever see that? That, man, thing. that's why they went to go see this weird bearded guy. Yeah, who the hell was that? That's what I'm saying. That's what this. this that's what I was gonna say about this episode. And he knew what the weapon was before yeah. they described it. So I thought it was gonna be a bigger, a, like gonna go through more episodes. Cause spoiler alert, like the guy fucking dies. You know what I mean? Yeah. What the fuck? So the weapon was identical. So we're introduced to this character who uh, Bullock knows, and they go to the they go to the you know prison. And they find the guy. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. It's okay. He's got a long beard. He looks like you know. Apparently, he was a hitman that did the same thing, and he got paid by evil. Like pretty much, think of a bounty hunter. The highest yeah. bidder is going to get the job. They're gonna get the the guy that's a client. So uh, yeah, he says like you know, not many of us around of those around anymore. And he identifies the weapon like that. Yeah, without them describing anything about so it. So he knew the guy because the guy said that he invented that weapon. Right. <laughs> But, but then we later find in the episode that the guy gets shot anyway, so he's not even going to be a big player in the show. And he looked pretty, he was pretty cool. I thought, yeah, no, I know, I'm pretty sure I've seen the guy in other, in other shows as well. I was like, yeah, right, I, I recognize the actor. This guy might stick around for a bit. Yeah, you, yeah, you sometimes you get that, but no, man. So, so I want to know, that's what I was going to say, I want to know who that guy was, the hitman. Who the guy in prison was. That's why I want to know who that guy is. And, and how then, this is going to play off. And how this is going to play out. And, and uh, Fish Mooney introduces another character, this girl, Liza. Liza, yeah, I couldn't find Liza, anything on her. That, I don't know who she is either. Are they just introducing more people that they're, they're making, like Fish Mooney? She's cute and she's, and she's badass, so. That, and, okay, since we're talking about the Fish Mooney part, that's where I had no idea what the fuck was happening. Yeah, that part why so that was even stupid. in. stupid. So like Fish she, Mooney's... Uh, she's go. Explain. No, you explain. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm talking a lot. I'm tired. Alright, so Fish Mooney is sitting in her uh, restaurant or joint. Okay, let's go. Joint. You want to call her joint? Yeah, and she's like hosting auditions for girls to sing. And after they sing, she goes, "Do you like women or or boys?" Or men. Yeah. Or men. Or whatever. Sorry. Services. And uh, whatever they prefer. Both of them said. Both women said uh, they preferred men. And she says, "Okay, seduce me." So that part was weird because like they're trying to seduce her. <laughs> it's just funny when the one girl, <laughs> the first girl, comes out. She's like, "Yeah, yeah." She's just giving her. Come on. We're on camera. Is that good? Oh, sorry. So that part was weird, and then after she she got the two, they, she brought them to some pier, some dock, and she <laughs> turned around and she's like, 
and the girl's like, do you want us to fight for the position? Like, she wants to hire, she said, I don't want to hire, uh, what did she say? I don't want to hire, like, a musician, I want to hire a weapon. She yeah, wants, she said. She wants to use one of these women as a weapon, we don't know really what for. I think she's just gonna, like, fucking she's, whore her I think that's what she, I think she's just gonna, like, try to, like, get Falcone attached to her or something, and, like, break him. Because n- now we know that Natalie's gone. Yeah, and because what he did to her, like, lover. Remember last episode? He beat the shit out of him. So, you think that he's... Oh, that's a good... That's a good... You know what I'm saying? Point. So, you think that he's... he's get, she's getting a girl for him to fall to for. To fall for. To, to, like, get attached to And then, like, to just you. fucking kill. And then, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, just to, like... It, just to show, like, she can... She can hurt him. That's pretty wild. That'd be good. If that doesn't happen, that'd be disappointing. Right? right? It's pretty sick. That's what, that's what I think. That's what I think. But yeah, just the way they went about it is really it's stupid. It's like, awkward to watch. Fight about it? Like, what the fuck? It was awkward to watch. So yeah, honestly, that ends that story right there. So, uh, and then uh, let's just finish off with the coolest part of the episode. Uh, Cobblepot's, like, huge plan of what happened. Mm-hmm. Like, that part was so cool. That was so cool. I kind of saw it coming. Did a little you? bit? A little bit. So pretty much what happens is uh, a robbery happens at the place that Cobblepot gets hired at. Maroni's place. Maroni's restaurant. Joint. Right? Maroni's joint. Maroni's joint. You know, uh, Robbery goes down and uh, everyone gets shot. The manager gets shot. Everyone. Coppa gets away and he he gets he ha- he manages to. They were counting money in the bag. Money, so and he, he manages to the grab bag. a bag of money, which looks amazing on him in front of Maroni, right? Cause, yeah, because he saved it. That's where I was like, yeah. I was like, oh fuck yeah, like he he did it. So uh, and then we later find out that he did it. Gets promoted to management. So in like, I think it's like, how long has he been working there? Not even a week? He went from dishwasher to pretty much managing this bar yeah, place, he's, right? He's a restaurant manager. And he set up the whole, he set up the whole thing. Plus, he goes to see the hitman that he, like, that, the he rock, hired. that he hired, poisons them, yeah. and gets the money that they stole. Like, so he just fucked with everybody, which was so cool. I don't, the, he's honestly, just a little guy. He's on, he's a genius. He's genius. The only thing I don't, I don't know if he's actually, if he's playing Jim or not. Yeah, that's another thing. Mention that, how he's trying to help Jim. Like, he's giving him hints, like, Falcone's going to strike here, and Maroney's going to strike, like, he's going to strike back with this. So, like, Jim's on top of it. But at the same time, we're saying, obviously, it's kind of, it's kind of clear what he's trying to do. He wants them to eliminate, almost eliminate each other. So and, he can. And then he just rises up. He's a, he he's is slowly, an entrepreneur. He's slowly just. He's an entrepreneur. Just getting up there. Man, but like it's so but that, it's so fun to watch him get up there. Yeah, like it's so fun to watch him get up there, sweet, and uh, yeah, it's really cool. And uh, why I really like this episode is because uh, Selena Kyle wasn't in it, so it was yeah, really, that two episodes. I really, she was in last episode. Was she? Yeah, I can't remember. There was one episode she was barely in. Though, I remember. It's probably last episode. Okay, and then uh, anything else we can touch up on? Oh, the what we've been what we've been talking about for the last four weeks here. Mm. Well, Barbara, we finally do get it confirmed that she was. In a relationship with uh, oh well we knew that last episode because they kissed I know but she she said it she told him well she finally told she finally told Jim and she's getting mad at Jim for hiding secrets like are you this guy got real mad I got real mad hey man you don't you don't you don't fuck with her bud Jim okay, okay. you don't break Jim's heart don't touch Jim oh and then leave him because he's not telling you his... well did she leave him I'm not gonna lie this whole romantic part between them so people, lame so lame why do they always have to put that in for you moms out there. For you moms? Yeah, my mom's sitting down watching Gov and guy gets stabbed in the fucking eye. Yeah, I watched an episode with my mom. She liked it. Did she actually? Yeah. What'd she say? What do you mean what she say? She said she liked it. I don't know. She, some points we could bring up. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's honestly pretty much it about the episode. This episode was, um, it kind of dragged on a little bit for me. I don't know about you. No, I liked it. All right. Different opinions, whatever. It kind of dragged on a little bit, you know. Uh, you, also you, see- you wanted to get attached to these villains, but you kind of can't. You see Bullock and, uh... Jim still continuing their rivalry. But it's like, I like watching it. It's like friendly it's rivalry. It's, it's, it's fun. It's yeah. fun. You know that they don't like each other, but they're still like, ah, yeah. I gotta deal with this guy. So yeah, um, this episode uh, is pretty good. Do you, have, uh, do you have a word that could describe this one? I don't see. Usually we've been hitting it. You guys, you know we've been hitting it. We've been hitting it pretty we've been hard. The word. I don't think th- this is the episode where we fall off. And I, I don't know, man. I'm not giving up. I think I think we've hit this one. I'm saying the... Give, listen, the, listen. We'll give each other... Give you 10 seconds. I already have my word. Oh, what the fuck? I don't have mine. Alright. Okay, maybe, maybe I do. Mine's developing. Developing. Developing? Yes, developing. Can you explain why? Wait, it's developing? Can you explain why? Because it, we see Penguin, he's developing what he wants to do. We finally see everything. 
Queen. No, but that's you're just talking about his storyline. No, let me finish. Okay, 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 okay. okay. You see Barbara and Jim, that's small. I'm just saying, you see Barbara and Jim, they finally like go at it. Are secret they, are they shit. Developing no, the story, just the story okay, between okay, them. Okay. Like they're gonna start fucking all this romantic shit. <laughs> Anyways, and then you see Fish got Mooney. Got you heart. see Fish Mooney, okay, developing. She's how she's one of the ways she's gonna take down Falcon. You see how Falcon and Maroni are going at it, that's developing. There's a war developing. There's literally a war developing. Yeah, they keep they keep hinting on that war. In Gotham. But but has the war is the war done because of this new deal? Because ultimately, we didn't say that the plan. You know how we had the Marone plan and we had the Maroni plan and the Falcone plan. It pretty much was divided, kind of equally, where the asylum stays, but half of the land goes to the low rental homes, and the other half goes to the the waste management thing. No, so, you said this. No, I didn't. Oh. So pretty much, Maroni wins, won that. So Falcone, like he got a hit. He got a hit. I'm just saying, developing. Developing. I was gonna. I guess I was gonna say, progressing. But that's, that's the, the same, same word. thing. That's what I was gonna say. No, yeah, I, I'm not done. Cause I, 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 think, I think my word is gonna be negative. Let me think. Let me think. I still can't think of one. What? Can I just take yours? It's, it's developing. I think we did it again. It's progressing. We did it again. I don't think that's the word. Though. We did it again. I don't think that's the word. We did it again. Wrap the shit up. I won. Ah, fuck off. All right. Well, uh. In the comments, guys, let us know what you think the word is, because uh, I, I don't think it's developing. I really don't. It's something negative. I know it is. I just can't. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't get it all. So uh, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, we'll be back here next week with your next episode of Gotham. Uh, the preview really didn't show anything much. so uh, it's I don't like watching the preview. You don't? No, I don't like. Well, this it. preview honestly showed nothing, so uh, I like when the preview's on. I don't like. I don't like watching it. All right. I, I don't want to like. I don't know. I'm just gonna be surprised. You don't want a preview? Yeah. So, uh, thanks for coming back, guys. Yeah. Um, thanks for joining us. Yeah. I guess. Yes, I'm Ron Burgundy. No, but uh, <laughs> this is a movie reference. Right, just hurry up. All right. So, uh, I'm Jason Grayson. I'm Anthony. Oh yeah, you're Anthony this time. I'm Anthony uh, today. Come back, visit us here at the Lost Bros Clubhouse on YouTube or check out our website at www.lostbrosclubhouse.com for more news, reviews, uh, everything cool on that website. It's, uh, it's been looking real good lately. Yeah. So uh, if you like this video, because I know you did, uh, click that like button, share with your friends because you know we're entertaining. Um, and, uh, you know, subscribe because I know you guys like us. Come on. We got uh, to get that subscriber thing up. We know you guys like us. Tell your nerdy friends. Tell your geeky friends. We're cool. Friends. We're badass. Uh, we're badass. Uh. That's my Scarface impression. No, that's not a Scarface impression. Okay. The Scarface impression is like, the Fuck you, man. <laughs> we're fucking badass, man. <laughs> fuck you, man. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, come back here to the clubhouse. See more reviews. Check out review on Gotham. We have a review on Flash that's going to be coming yeah. out. We have a review on Arrow that's coming out. Uh, let us know what you guys want us to review. Maybe we'll uh, check it out. So, again, I'm Jason Grayson. I'm Anthony. Click that like and share and subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you here next week, man. You want to say anything to the camera? Our site's developing. <laughs>